Hello and welcome to episode 7 of season 3 of Bobo Scrub Alti Records. Hey! Yes, Monday again. Woo! So, first, I'm going to answer a question. Uh, who was it that asked? I cannot remember. I think it might have been Bob that asked about the Sixth Sense sound. So I don't run any mods now. I used to, but I kind of stopped a couple of patches ago because everything that I used to use is pretty much in the game now. So with the Sixth Sense sound in your sound settings you can go here and use either two different variants or a user sound. And when you collect, you select the user sound all you have to do is get an mp3 file that you want to use as your Sixth Sense. It can be a whole track or a few seconds or whatever or the right amount of seconds like the one the one that I use is something that Mick did for me and it's just the right amount of seconds for the uh, chance of you to be spotted to drop off and all that kind of thing. So as it says there, you just need to rename the file to Sixth Sense and then move it into the uh, res folder under the audio WW folder. Just stick it in there and then it will work. Easy as that. Woohoo! So, something else that um, a couple of you have noticed in the past and just recently is that when I play the 58 I tend to rush the shots and I've noticed too uh, I, I actually look back and uh, refresh my memory over it and so I've had a few games in it this week and I thought we'd start off with it this week again and uh, and see how I get on and I'm going to try and pay more attention to actually letting the shots aim and all that kind of thing we've got brothers in arms we've got the uh, premium consumable and everything else that we can possibly use because you can't use gun laying drive because it's auto loader and whatever else so or can you no I don't think you can in this one I've got a gun laying drive on there duh oh yeah it's the the rammer that you can't use derp okay so Everything's on there to help with the aim time and everything that we could possibly have, really. So, eh, let's just try it, shall we? Well, would you look at that? It's a grand match. Looks like there's one artillery per side. Lots of tier 10s. Hmm. Okay. So, there's a potential for us to actually fire off most of our shells. So, we're in the, the north side. I suppose it's... Would you consider it the east spawn? Hmm, maybe. I'm going to head up kind of around the back. Try and get ourselves in a kind of a regular artillery spot. I don't really know good places to sit on this map. I've not really had it enough. I suppose we could look it up, but... You know, that would involve me actually looking it up. And you know how good I am at those kind of things. Hmm. Okay, looking at the map and not where I'm driving. It's a good start. I might just sit here to begin with. Have a look around. Sometimes when I've been here in heavy tanks, I've kind of pushed around this bit before. Which has kind of been handy. I think sometimes maybe I'm rushing the shots because I know there's a long reload. I also know that you don't really want to waste the shots that you do have. So I don't know. Maybe maybe it's because of the long reload I'm thinking, well, I need to get the shots off so that I can get as many shots fired as possible. Um, I don't know. These shells do take a long time to go over, don't they? If he's going to stop, he's not. Okay, I think that probably splashed him. We've got one more. Whee! Okay, good. So now we're on reload so we can look for another suitable targets. Counter battery's been really low over the matches I've had since since the new kind of HD maps and things have come out. 
kind of started to get a little lazy, you know, and not move around too much. What I want to try and do here is, is pay more attention to the shots I am firing and that we're letting that aim time kind of come in and settle all this kind of thing, you know? Hmm. Good, so we've got a little bit of splash there. That leopard just got hit hard in the arse. This... IS could have been good to hit, but... Then that, there's a heavy over here. This panzer... Blah, 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 blah. Good, look at that. We managed to get a shot in just before... Just before everyone else hit him. There we go. It's a nice one. You want to try and get most of your artillery shots nowadays to hit multiple targets. Rather than necessarily hit them, hit one target square, you kind of want to... I know, I've said it before. I don't really... Uh, <laughs> I don't really feel that I'm managing to do it very often, but... As you are relying on the enemy team kind of hugging one another and stuff, you know? Right, this is probably going to be where I'm going to try and aim next. Wait and see what kind of pops up. So they're all huddled together until the point that our, aim, our reload comes up, and then. Hmm. It's just. Excellent. Wondering whether or not that would actually land. Good, it's another little bit. We've got one shot left. I haven't really paid much attention over in the uh, in the town yet. Maybe we should have a quick ganders. So there's some tank destroyers up on the hill. Our heavy seem to be pushing on through, so maybe they need a little bit of a an extra push. I think our guys down south are holding holding the line pretty well. They're not really able to advance, but they won't need to if our guys in the city manage to push on through. Maybe we could see if we could get some shots on these heavy hitters. Especially if our medium tanks continue to spot them. That would be super duper. So there's one. Looks like we tracked him. Used a repair kit. Try again. Excellent. Left him on a very few amount of hit points, but really need to finish him because while his gun's still in the game, he's bad news. There we go. It's a very big, horrible gun out of the game. The Agpans V100 is only going to be dangerous if you're stuck in front of him. He's only really going to get one shot off at you. I didn't realise there was another one over here. They're really good fun to play sometimes, and other times really infuriating. Alright then. The T62A is right in a spot that's hard to, hard to hit over the rocks. This I-7 could be could be worth finishing off. Let's, uh, especially if he continues to back up the way he's doing. Ooh, 56. Kind of splashed close to him, but no cigar. I'm going to throw another one there just in case. Probably backed up, I would have thought. T62A, you never know. Yeah, it would have hit him if he hadn't moved forward. We are quite a way away after all. Okay, the I-7's going to have to be very, very careful now. You see how the Jagdpanzer 100 being alone, he's now been surrounded, so... This one over here. So he's pretty much screwed. 
crest and fire on this guy. He is a big soft target. Don't think we're going to need to fire on him if I'm perfectly honest. I mean, we can we can stay trained, seeing as they were over here. Probably going to get behind these rocks before we get bloody loaded. Looks that way, doesn't it? Bugger. Okay, maybe we can help out over here. I know I could use the right click and move on the map, but sometimes I do like just moving the mouse around. Oh, we nearly hit him. There we go, we got some stun damage, so that's good. Don't want to go for the ice 4 Not with... Oh, that went in. Not with our guy so close. Good stuff. So the E3 was pushing on round. I expect the Agpanzer E100 is going to sit where he is because he's so damn slow. Let's see if we can get some... Good. We've got some stun damage in there. Now we're reloading again. See, this is another case of this guy being the last one alive and he's probably going to get one shot off and then get surrounded by everybody, so... There's only that STB-1 left over there. I suppose the Grill-15 is still around somewhere and we haven't seen the artillery yet. You see how he's just... He's just a big hit point pool like a tog now. So, here's that grill. Oh, we would have hit him as well. I wonder where the artillery is. I would have imagined they're over this way then. It's only the 58 left, isn't it? Yeah, there's only one artillery per side, so. There he is. Way nice. Good. Oh, blimey. Managed to ace it. We've been uh, kind of first class on that for a long time. 14 bonds. <laughs> Blimey, that's a good way to start the week. Nice, Confederate 2. Wow, blimey, top on XP in a grand battle in an artillery. Blimey. Two kills as well. Awesome. 20 shots fired, 9 direct hits, 9 penetrations, 13 splash for 3,230. No assistance damage after all of that. <laughs> uh, 4,236 stun damage though. Blimey, 20 stuns. Jeez, that's not bad at all. Good amount of bonds there. Wow, I wish we could have that more often. Good amount of credits as well. Excellent. Right, let's have a couple more because the, the grand battles are a little different. So, you never know. In a standard match, I might go back to kind of rushing shots and not really fully aiming and things, so let's go see what happens. Well, this is a contrast. Eights, nines and tens on Ensk, two artillery per side. We're in the south. I'm not going to go over to the super flat playing field. I'm going to have to go over there. A little different from the first match. Nice if we could get the same game. Okay, should we just stop here for the minute? Have a look over this way. Some early initial spots. So we could have gone out into the field, it doesn't look like there's much going on in the way of build stuffs. Oh, I thought he was going to back up then. It's 
So we did get him a little bit of spot and damage. Hmm. Not really too fussed about the people in the uh, in the town at the moment. Kind of wishing that our guys would push on a little bit more. I thought this guy was AFK for a minute. Ugh, it's typical that he stays there right for us to aim. Maybe throw another one at him. There we go. Okie dokie, so we're now on reload again. What's this T10 doing? It's unusual. Don't want that STA to come down our way. That would be bad. There's a Centurion over here. Kind of bleeding some hit points. He does have his ass poking out. Scorpion we're not really going to be able to get shots on. Not unless he pulls around a little bit more. Okay, if he pushes out this way then we'll be good, but... Excellent, that was a nicely time shot. Might be able to get another one on the back end of the Scorpion if he pushes back, but... That Centurion is on a low amount of hit points though. Maybe we should try and finish him off. We did. It's not looking too hot in town now, is it? Maybe after this last shell we should move out into the... Uh, into the field. Not really going to get anything on him, are we? Okay. Kind of watching the map more than the middle of the screen at the moment. Don't know where that grill 15 is. Alright, yeah, you see I rushed that shot. I think I wanted to take it before he moved that time. We did get some stun though, so... Do what you want, a pirate what? You are a pirate. Ow! Who? Who saw us? That's weird. I'm sure it just poked us up for the sake of... Hmm... Alright, we're nearly done on reload, so maybe we should uh, get aimed in. We do have the possibility of nearly hitting him. We shouldn't need to. Nah, looks like he's, he's buggeroonied. It's just this guy left. We've got three shells and we're not going to be able to do much about it unless he comes down here. And no need, because everyone finished him off. Okay, not too bad. Hmm, well there we go, that was a victory. So for Ensk, we didn't die as well, so... Alright, we were midway on XP and a little bit low on damage, but pff, we survived. We didn't make a loss in credits either, look. It's over 6,000 uh, silver, it's not too bad. Six shots fired, only one of those was a direct hit and a penetration. Six splash for 826. <laughs> no assistance again. 1,276 stun damage though, and six stuns, so it's still one to one on stuns there. Alright, let's hopefully not get Ensk again and try it one last time. Okay, this is a little bit of... Siegfried line. Tier 10's all the way and three artillery per side, blimey. I'm going to sit with my hull facing sideways as I do most of the time with this machine. So I'm going to get the whole the turret turned. Now I don't want to sit too far out here, here just because I want to be able to get shots down this bit. And I think to myself, well, if I go too far over into the field, we're not going to be able to. But I still want to be able to get shots over this way going to have to be careful if not many of our guys are going over here though. They're going to know now as well. 
so. Mm. Okay. This is a little worrying. Might need to might need to rethink our spots soonish. I mean the TVP's heading over there, so it's not too bad. Maybe we should go help over here as well. There's some people been spotted in the in the town, but Wee. That wasn't too bad, was it? Good stuff. I was hoping he'd pull back a little bit sooner than he did, but... Let's wait and see what he does. Light tanks aren't the easiest thing in the world to shoot at, are they? I think he knows he's safe there. All right then, so we did manage to stun him, but I don't think anyone's going to be able to get any shots on him, even the T-62A. Oh, there you go, a little bit. Not too bad. I'm surprised there's not as many of them over this way, actually. It's good, though, because there's not many of our guys over there, so... And there we go, so that takes the pressure off a little. Ooh. Wow, that was a hefty shot. Who on earth fired that? Wowzers. I wonder if we could have a look for some counter battery whilst we wait for shots. Oh, saying that, these guys. Look at this. Might be able to get something on these chaps. There we go, something on the back of the leopard. Guy we can't quite get shots on, which is unfortunate. Because he's on a very low amount of hit points. We could, in theory, finish him off, but not while he's sat there, we can't. But no need, because the TVP managed to get him. Okie dokie. Another one. Oh, five hit points. Okay, he's on fire. And pop. And there we go. We got Wonder if, if that whole lot counts as stun damage. Probably does, you know. I haven't really seen any artillery tracers, so it's hard to kind of tell where their shells are coming from, you know. Oh wow, he's on fire as well. Blimey. See if we time this right. On well, that one in. Let's maybe, whilst draw and reload, try and move up round. Move up round here, so then we can get some side shots on people and stuff. As long as we stay wide, we should be all right. And our 13105 has managed to successfully come on round, so. found one of the artillery and he's taken one of the artillery out trying to do this and drive via the map is always good fun okay we're gonna have to get round oh nice shooting there by the uh, 261 all the same times agonizing isn't it Sometimes, maybe, I rush the shots because I think to myself, well, I've got two more afterwards. Is that a thing, maybe? Yeah, if I just carry on with that thought a little bit. So, like, maybe I'm, I'm rushing the first shot rather than the second two because I think, well, if I just... It's got the potential to splash 
you know, I'm not as worried about hitting the target. And I've got two more shells to follow up. So if you can do the same amount of damage with those three shells that you can do with one in, say, GWE 100 or something like that, then are you coming off okay? But then you've got to offset that against the, the reload time. You think if the reload time is a lot longer and you're only doing the same amount of damage as one of those, then you really need to be making sure that you do damage with all three shells. Hmm. I kind of feel today, though, that we've done a little better. So that was a victory anyway. Oh, that's more damage than I thought. Kind of midway again. It's, it tends to be how we are, aren't we? It's kind of mid-tabled. Decent amount of XP, though, really. 24,000 credits. Right, seven shots fired, four direct hits, four penetration, three splash for 1,679. <laughs> no assistance again. Uh, so look at that, we've only got six stuns that time. 2,693 stun damage though, so we were stunning people at the right time. Nice, okay. Yeah, I feel a bit more comfortable with that now, so I think I'm going to have to pay attention to it when I do take the 58 out. But uh, that did feel better, so... Anyway, we've run over a little bit this time, so <laughs> leave a like and stuff if you enjoyed. Thank you for watching, and uh, I'll see you on Wednesday. So, until then, bye!